Finally, the second trailer for Matrix Resurrections was released, one that tells us about how our heroes are caught in a loop and with new revelations such as the return of Niobe and Agent Smith. So today we will be analyzing the second Matrix Resurrections trailer. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The first scene is a shot of the city, followed by the police looking for who appears to be Trinity. It looks like the scene from the original movie, but it's not. In the Deja Vu trailer, we saw that it is not Carrie Ann Moss, but Ellen Hallman. This is important because the narration mentions how we are all caught in different loops. Loops and cycles are common concepts in the Matrix. Neo is the sixth one from the sixth version of the simulation. Zion has been destroyed five times. Everything is a loop created by the machines, and apparently we will see this loop. Interestingly, the recreation of Trinity's introduction is part of the loop. We move on to a scene of Neo watching Trinity. Behind Neo, there is a sign that says Simulate. Neo is in the coffee shop where he sees Trinity for the first time. Trinity is leaving the coffee shop, but not before giving Neo a look that resembles a scene from Matrix Reloaded when she left him behind so that he could mingle with his worshippers. Now we move on to one of the biggest reveals of the trailer. In previous trailers, there were some clues pointing to Jonathan Gruff playing Agent Smith. We made a video on this topic. In this new trailer, everything indicates that this is the case. Gruff is reciting Smith verbatim. Billions of people just living out their lives. Oblivious. The scene switches between Gruff and Smith. Neo looks scared, like he is remembering Smith. Other scenes from The Matrix are shown. When Neo asks Smith for a phone call and his mouth is sealed, Gruff's mouth is sealed too, as if he's making fun of Neo. It seems that Neo's memories are blending with reality. Gruff's character could be Smith, reminding him of his past. In the next scene, Morpheus is dressed in yellow and is offering the red pill to someone. We notice that his clothes are different from what he was wearing when he offered Neo the red pill. Time to fly. Maybe he is offering the pill to someone else, or that he tries to offer it to Neo on several occasions. It is interesting that this character changes clothes frequently in the movie, and with bright and striking colors, not like the original Morpheus, who always wore black and dark colors. The next clip is at the theater stage. Neo passes through the curtains or the silver screen while the movie The Matrix is being projected. This has symbolic overtones, given that the Wachowskis have claimed that the films themselves are Matrixes. So we are seeing Neo coming out of the movie to see himself in it, maybe to remember who he was. But it's also a meta-explanation that the Matrix movie exists within the Matrix. Neo is trapped in a loop. In previous videos, we've talked about how this isn't the first time we've seen the Matrix movie within the simulation idea. Again, we point you towards the Matrix comic, Get It, for reference. In the video game Path of Neo, there is also a projection of the fight between Neo and Seraph inside a theater. The concepts of simulations within simulations and control systems within control systems have been touched on in the previous trilogy and will be repeated in the new one. We have also theorized that the reason the Matrix movie exists in this world is for Neo and perhaps other inhabitants of the simulation to remember past events like Neo's fight against Smith as works of fiction, like movies or video games. As in the system created the movie to confuse the people and keep them asleep. On the theater stage, there are the two leather seats that Neo and Morpheus sat in in the first movie. There is also a mirror and some of the equipment used to track Neo in the real world. The pill you took is part of a trace program. It's designed to disrupt your input-output carrier signal so we can pinpoint your location. Bugs and the new Morpheus seem to be trying to wake Neo up to make him understand that he is trapped in a simulation, a false projection of reality. Neo lived in a false simulation of reality in the first movie. Now he might be watching this movie thinking that it is fiction. Neo touches the mirror. In a past video, we talked about the importance of mirrors in this movie which will be used as portals in addition to their symbolism and references to Alice in Wonderland. 
we move on to some quick sequences in which you can see hands coming out of a pod and Trinity fighting. Gruff points his gun at Neo and Bugs yells at Neo's name. In this clip with Bugs, you can see that there are some chandeliers, the same ones we saw inside the theater. Maybe Bugs yells at Neo because the police are coming. We go to a scene of Neo entering the construct, saying that he remembers the place. It looks just like the scene when Neo entered the construct for the first time. Now we see the power plants, thousands of humans connected to the Matrix, and two insect-like ships approaching. These ships could be robots or humans using machine technology. The way we can differentiate machine technology from human technology is that the robots stopped looking like humans and adapted a more insect-like appearance. This change happened after the humans rejected peace treaties with the machines. When the humans surrendered, the robots sent out monstrous looking machines, which symbolizes that they did not want to be like humans, and their desire to be their equal was gone. This is why in the real world, all machines look like insects. So deja vu. And yet it's obviously all wrong. Remember that deja vu has two meanings. In the Matrix, deja vu is described as a change in the Matrix. But in this trailer, it is used as it's normally used, the feeling of having relived something. Bugs says that maybe this is not the story that they thought. At an event in Brazil, we learn that Bugs belongs to a group that is looking for any trace of Neo and that they have faith that he is alive. We will talk about Bugs' motivations at another time. So the Red Pills were lied to about what happened to Neo. There are scenes of Neo in and out of the Matrix while he is being treated by the machines. The new Morpheus mentions how the system manipulated him. They taught you good. Made you believe their world was all you deserved. Then we see how Neo tries to fall off a building while civilians yell at him to not do it. Perhaps this is the reason why Neo is in therapy. He tries to jump off a building because he knows that something is wrong with the world. This is also a reference to the first movie when Trinity told Neo that he spends his days in front of a computer looking for answers. I know why you hardly sleep, why you live alone, and why night after night you sit at your computer. The new Morpheus tells Neo that part of him remembers what is real, as Trinity is seen inside the theater. For Neo, the only real thing is Trinity. But there is something that makes us wonder, how many simulations are there within the simulation itself? Because in this clip, Neo sees the real Trinity, but in the Deja Vu trailer, Ellen Holman is Trinity. Perhaps there are multiple simulations within a simulation, or there are just multiple simulations. This is one of the most confusing aspects of the trailers. More scenes that we have already seen of Bugs facing the agents while listening to a familiar voice. It's so easy to forget how much noise the Matrix pumps into your head. Something else makes the same kind of noise. War. In this scene, Neo is in the real world, in Zion maybe, and Niobe appears. There are several things we want to comment on. Niobe has a scar on her eye, an old wound, meaning that Niobe possibly continued the fight after the truce. She also mentions war, as if during all this time, she continued the war against the machines. This is perhaps our first indication that the truce was broken. Another interesting thing that caught our attention is that Niobe looks much older than we thought. It was mentioned that Matrix Resurrections takes place 20 years after Matrix Revolutions, but Niobe's appearance makes us think that it has been more like 50 years since Matrix Revolutions, thus bringing up the theories about how the passage of time works in the Matrix. It also means that the machines preserved Neo and Trinity's bodies. Neo is older, but he still looks younger than Niobe. Moving on with more scenes of Bugs shooting at the police, two ships going through tunnels, a battle in the real world, machines versus machines maybe, and more scenes that we saw in the previous trailers. Jonathan Gruff yells, Mr. Anderson, again confirming that he may be the new version of Agent Smith. Mr. Anderson! Priyanka Chopra, Sati briefly appears. The most important choice in Neo's life. Sati is the little girl program from the previous trilogy, now all grown up and with a fundamental role to play in this new film. There are more scenes of Neo fighting Gruff and of Trinity kissing Neo. Neo says that Trinity believed in him. Now it's his turn to believe in her. It seems that Neo has to return to the simulation to save Trinity. 
Trinity says that a part of her feels like she's been waiting for Neo her entire life. This is because deep down inside, both Trinity and Neo still remember each other. Next, we have extended versions of clips from the first trailer, like Neo training in the dojo and facing off against the police. The new Morpheus tells Neo that if he wants to see Trinity again, he has to fight. So by this point, Neo has his memories back. I saw this in a dream. Trinity is finally seen in the real world, alive and inside a pod. Then it looks like someone is about to unplug Neo, a new traitor perhaps? Trinity goes on to say that her dream ended here, on the roof of a building. She is hurt and her face is dirty, looking like she was just in a fight. The trailer concludes with Neo fighting Gruff. I still know Kung Fu. Just like the classic scene. I know Kung Fu. The trailer was full of cool stuff, but the most surprising thing was Niobe, because now she has us wondering what happened during all this time. What happened to Morpheus? Why is she talking about war? And why does Neo look younger than her? Let the new theories come. But do you agree? What did you think about the new Matrix Resurrections trailer? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.